Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we're going to have 70. We're going to have clouds. We're going to have a ton of rain this afternoon. Um, thunderstorms and things all through the night into uh, the overnight. Saturday, you wake up. The rain ends supposedly 9, 10, 11. And abundant 70-degree sunshine. I love that uh, word, abundant. In, in the afternoon. Could be breezy, but sunshine Saturday afternoon. And Sunday, we get back down to 50, a mix of clouds and rain, it looks like, again. So mm. that's your uh, up and down topsy-turvy weekend. How are you doing, Candy? I'm doing just fine. I'm hoping it doesn't rain heavily because I have a, a drive. I want to go see Maeve. Uh, on Sunday. On Sunday. Yeah. You, well, Sunday will be better than today. Like this this evening. Yeah, today's really. This is some remnants of the hurricane, isn't it, Nicole? Yes. Or something. Yes, this is uh, remnants of something coming up the east coast. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, you'll be okay. But it could be a little rain Sunday, but you'll be you'll be absolutely fine. You go watch the giant game, right? You bring in the chili and all that, and you'll be all set. I'll be all set. All right, Living good. in heaven. Good. You get to see your little uh, your little baby girl there, your granddaughter. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, it's been a while, right? How many weeks? Uh, it's been like two weeks. I, uh, uh, I can't take anymore. <laughs> it's too Can much. Can wait another minute? It is, uh, it's too much, the little angel. I can't wait to uh, hear all about it. Yes, there'll be new pictures to follow. Uh, Candy, today a, a big day for many reasons. It is Veterans Day today. It is, and we honor them and thank them for what they've done for this country. Yep, always uh, celebrated on November 11th. Uh, Veterans Day. No, it doesn't matter what uh, day of the week it comes out. Veterans Day on 11-11. And, um, yeah, big uh, shout-out to uh, all the vets, including my wife. I have uh, yes. my very own here. Who served proudly and did a wonderful job. 23 years, Candy. Yeah, the, uh, very proud yeah, of her. In the Air Force. Yes, yeah, uh, military police, uh, 23 years. And um, uh, very good. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do something. Let me ask for... you something. A lot of military people that I know. Mm -hmm. I don't know that many, but the handful that I do know. Mm -hmm. They're very strict at home when it comes to hanging up clothes, and the hangers have to be in the same direction. Uh, is, well, I, is Dana like that? No, so, okay, 50-50. Uh, I, I see where that comes from because uh, some military people had to uh, be, you know, with the you see in the movies, right? They have to make the bed perfect and right. the clothes have to hang perfect. I, I'm whatever. telling you, my girlfriend was married to a guy in the Air Force. I went to their house in Colorado years ago. Their youngest child was about four at the time. I was sleeping in her bedroom. She woke me up and said, "You have to get out of my bed now because I have to make it." <laughs> no, we listen. Uh, there is nothing like that uh, going on here. I will say, like any other mother, uh, Dana gets upset when she she's been doing a lot of laundry, and I have to. I'm going to give her credit because um, you know we've always done laundry. She's done laundry. I've done well, I hope whatever. So. Okay, no, but I, my point is, I know it sounds ridiculous. My my point is. Um, Re since retirement, she has like like laundry is her life. Like she loves doing the laundry, and she it's like therapy for her. And she folds mm. the clothes. She gets very uh, upset, not with the hanging or hangers, but when the kids don't grab their piles and put them away, or even worse, they take their pile upstairs and they just leave it somewhere, like on the dresser. Or they don't put it away correctly. Yeah. So, um, no, I, I wouldn't can understand that. She, but it doesn't have to be like perfect, like uh, all in like a row. Like the house I stayed in. Yes, you have to get out of the bed now because I have to make it. That's wild. That is wild. No. <laughs> no, definitely, uh, definitely not. Um, so yeah, happy uh, Veterans Day. You know, we're uh, you know we're very thankful. Uh, oh yes. To all the vets and. Um, we're gonna give uh, in in a little while. By the way, we'll uh, we'll do um, uh, vets deals. Like there's a lot of restaurants and places that have deals today. So uh, we'll do that about seven forty seven. I do want to also mention uh, November eleventh is a very important day. It um, is in my uh, family. Yes, it is the two year anniversary. It's been two years already that our baby Tony, our little. Yorkie are three to four pounds of 
love uh, passed away on November 11th, 2022. Um, she was almost 17, Candy. And oh, she, she was, was my, something. My, my, uh, one of my best friends. Like, you uh, loved her. She loved you so. Oh, my little angel. We talk about her, and I think about her all the time. I wear a bracelet. By the way, if you ever see me out, you will always see me without fail with a what looks like a kid's bracelet on my left arm. And it's like these blue and silver beads. And uh, there's a little name plate on it. Like Abby made this for me with those little letters, right? And it says Tony, T-O-N-I. And the O is a heart instead of an O. That is adorable. I would have loved a gift like that when my Ollie passed. That's wonderful. And I, uh, I wear it. And by the way, so she made it for me after she passed. And recently, like a month ago... The string broke. It finally, after oh, almost two oh. years, it broke. So uh, I picked up all the beads, and Abby came home from school. I said, Abby, you got to remake me this. Like, I need this now. Yeah, I can't. Like, please, like, before you and do your homework. she went and did it because oh, she's yeah. got a huge heart. Yeah, she uh, absolutely, she uh, she did that. And uh, uh, so I do wear uh, that every day. And yeah, it's been two years. Now, when the pandemic, this is interesting, too. Uh, pandemic started, uh, you know, for lockdown, March of March 2020. 2020, yes. Um, you know, she was with us every morning. You know, she was starting to get slow and a little sick. I don't know about sick, her. but yeah, yeah, slow. And she would lay next to us during the whole show uh, every morning. Um, and Dana, you know, it really helped Dana when she retired from the military. Um she retired uh, with, with an injury. She had an injury, and she was home for a long time prior to retirement, and she had odd hours. She would stay up late, watch TV. You know, she, she couldn't get to sleep, whatever, and she, like, took the night shift. Like, when I would go to bed so I can get ready for the morning show, she would be up taking care of Tony. And because she needed, like, she was like an infant. She needed almost round the clock uh, watching. Yes. And you, oh. yeah. So, uh, yeah, she was a big part. Well, we miss part. you, Tony. You were a big part of the show for many years. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's coming up. We will have all the vets deals, the, uh, you know, the fast food places, the restaurants, everything that has uh, the deals today. Uh, that So you can go um, uh, do that. Uh, also want to talk to you about the Toy Hall of Fame. They have chosen, remember, we always go through this every year, and... Uh, we did this like maybe a month ago. They have chosen the three oh, toys that well, have we made. We got to hear what they were. Yes, we will. We will do that. Your next bald and the beautiful comes up uh, right around eight twelve or so. We're gonna have close to seventy. The rain starts this afternoon. Heavy after that into the evening. Dinner time overnight. It ends tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, you'll be at seventy two. With sunshine. Yay, 72 and sunshine. Yeah, well, Sunday back down to 50, clouds and rain, it looks like mm. possible. So mm. we'll see see how it goes. Uh, let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.